on Cardiff News, screening significance, women aren't getting cervical checks, and lest we forget, we remember those who lost their lives in an armistice special. So join the conversation, use the hashtag Cardiff News. Hello and welcome to Cardiff News, I'm Matthew Harris. The number of women in Wales having potentially life-saving cervical screenings has dropped. Screenings among women aged 25 to 64 have fallen by 77.8%, continuing the falling trend over the last five years. Joe's Cervical Cancer Trust say although the decrease is not dramatic, the concern is that we haven't seen an any uptake increase across Wales, as Rosalie Miller reports. The crowds are starting to build here ahead of the Queen's arrival here at the brand new Cardiff University Brain Imaging Research Centre. It costs £44 million to build and holds an MRI scanner that's one of only two of its kind in the whole of the world. The car behind me is a concept of the DBX, not the actual machine that will be built in St Athen. We'll have to wait some time before we will see the finished product. It's not expected to come down the production line until 2020, but it will bring bespoke manufacturing and the pinnacle of automotive engineering to Wales. This is Matthew Harris for Hello Cardiff from the Welsh Government Office. Heavy, just, yeah. just with that. Yeah. So again, it's got all the reflective material on it for when we go to anything in the dark, so it's sort of quite visible. It's the helmet. We wish the guys all the best of luck in the marathon in two weeks' time. Remember, if you want to donate, you can do it via the Just Giving page. This is Matthew Harris for Cardiff News from Cardiff Central Fire Station. This is Press Pit with Matthew Harris. Hello and welcome to the programme. For the next 60 minutes, we'll look at the stories making the page in our local newspapers. We'll look at the biggest Cardiff stories in depth as well as seeing what's making the Nationals. Granted access to Press Pit today are Kat Jones, who is Head of Partnership at Hub Cymru Africa, and Alistair Love from Action for Children. Welcome to the show, guys. Now, to kick things off, let's start with a look back at some of the stories in Cardiff news so far this week in 90 seconds. And it's, I'm surprised more wasn't made of this, to be honest, because mm. this is quite a massive issue we both mentioned uh, since Brexit that uh, hate crimes have, have doubled. Um, we don't want children thinking that this is this is normal behaviour and that they can go out in society and act like this in the future. Well, so it's quite a, they've got quite a big and, technology and centre. Google as well. Google it? are there yeah. as well, they've got quite a big... Anyway, we're going to move on now um, to this story here. Um, uh, father and son have, have been jailed after a pug puppy was stolen. I mean, it's a, it's a lovely, uh, lovely picture there. But we're seeing... Um, Dog thefts rise more and more as they become worth more and more money with selective breeding. Do we think this is going to be a trend that we're going to continue to see? Now joining me to look back at the week that was, all things Cardiff City and a little bit Wales, is Matthew Harris from Made in Cardiff TV News. It's okay. Good, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, we'll start with a bit of Wales. Yes. Kind of a frustrating evening. Yeah, um... Not as frustrating as Georgia, I wouldn't say, no. but um, very frustrating evening. Cruel, shows how cruel football can mm. be though. You hit the post and then two seconds later they go down the other end, come off the post and it goes in for them. So um, very frustrating though. They were very um, dogged side. I think we could have done a bit better. Um, Ramsey, you could see, great to have him back, but you mm. can see he wasn't all there. Like um, about the 50, 60th minute, you could see he started getting like heavy touches and he mm. wasn't as sharp on the ball, but you know, he's only been back for, two to three weeks that was just one of the most sweetly struck goals so you can't blame anyone for that no. that's absolute belter but uh nervy 20 minutes you know Cardiff City of old would have I think would have collapsed in mm. Cardiff City earlier this season probably would have collapsed but uh three to win against a team in the playoffs who have been doing really really well I think he's a uh, you know Warnock doing his thing again I suppose still still got that bit of a Warnock factor and uh, after two defeats quite good to bounce back Hello and welcome to a very special Cardiff Sports Roundup. Tonight we're talking all things American football because in just over two weeks' time, millions of people around the world will be tuning in to see the Super Bowl. This very impressive trophy will be lifted by one of four teams. We're joined here by two very special guests. 
Christian from the Cleveland Browns and Jordan who was a player for the LA Rams. Guys, welcome to the UK. What are you making of it so far? A great 4-0 win for Cardiff Met over Real at the weekend and best of luck to them playing Bala on this weekend. Now, Under Armour released their new record app at the Principality Stadium today ahead of the Autumn Internationals and our reporter Daniel Wilson was there. Now, it's been a very interesting year for the Devils, moving from the big blue tent to the Ice Arena Wales, losing in a Challenge Cup final, but finding out they will be hosting a Challenge Cup final here next year. Let's catch up with the Devils Chief Executive Todd Cameron on everything Cardiff Devils in 2016. So Todd, uh, 2016 obviously in between two seasons, but uh, how do you view it as a managing director? We stand here in Cardiff Bay, the birthplace of Cardiff's history. Tell us a bit more about that. Well, this is where industrial Cardiff really began. Today, Cardiff Bay is a place of leisure, but... Out of uh, Sophia Gardens. Tell us a little bit about where they got that name to start Sophia. off with. Sophia. Well, it was the Lady of Cardiff Castle in the 80s. We've uh, stepped out of the car to start today's episode. We're stood in Trelai Park next to a, a tuft of grass, but there's a lot more history to it than that, isn't there? There is, and I'm glad we've come outside the car today. See you after the break.